Hello students, welcome to grade 10 science lessons and I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You have learned from our past lessons that continents are gradually moving, as claimed by Alfred Lothar Wegener on his continental drift theory, and strongly supported by C4 spreading of Harry Hammond Hess based on observed evidence at mid-oceanic ridge. But what is really happening beneath the Earth's crust? What is driving the lithospheric plates to move? Let's find, Let's out, find out in today's, in today's lesson. lesson. Plate tectonic theory The Earth's crust is broken into pieces called plates that are gradually moving. These plates are moving convergingly, divergingly, or sliding from one another. But what is really happening beneath the Earth's crust that causing the plates to move? With the advances in seismology, it allowed us to learn that the Earth's interior is made of several layers. The Earth's interior is divided into several layers. Starting from the outermost to the innermost layer, we have the crust, which is the thinnest and top component of the lithosphere. The mantle, which is the mostly solid bulk of the Earth's interior. And the core, which is very hot, very dense center of our planet. The material in the Earth's crust are constantly in motion, and we call this movement plate tectonics. The theory of plate tectonics states that the Earth's solid outer crust, the lithosphere, is separated into plates that move over the asthenosphere, the molten upper portion of the mantle. Oceanic and continental plates come together, spread apart, and interact at boundaries all over the planet. Plate tectonics is made possible by the process what we call convection current at the Earth's mantle. Convection is a process on how heat is being transferred in fluids. Convection can happen if there is significant difference in temperature between two parts of a fluid. When temperature difference exists, hot fluids rise and cold fluids sink, and then currents or movements are created in the fluid. Convection can also happen in the mantle. Heat in the mantle mainly comes from the Earth's molten outer core due to decaying of radioactive elements. The temperature difference between the upper and lower boundaries of the mantle requires heat transfer to occur. The warmer less dense rock material near the core slowly moves upward. Relatively cooler rock from higher in the mantle slowly sinks toward the mantle. As the warmer material rises, it also cools, eventually pushed aside by warmer rising material and sinking back toward the core. Plate tectonics provides an explanation for Wegener's drifting continents. As lithospheric plates move, and so the crust, creating landforms and other tectonic activities. Let's have an activity Watch out for the direction. Get a piece of paper, a blue pen, and a red pen. Based on the movement of plates in a tectonic map, draw arrows to show the direction or pathway of the materials in the mantle. To draw arrows, use red pen if materials in the mantle are less dense and rising, and use blue pen for materials that are denser and sinking. You may pause the video in doing the activity. Let's start! 
The boxes represent the Earth's mantle. Using your blue and red pens, draw arrows to show the direction of movement of materials in the mantle. Number 1. Draw the movement of the mantle materials between Eurasian and North American plates. Number 2. Draw the movement of the mantle materials between Nazca and South American plates. And lastly, number 3. Draw the movement of the mantle materials between Australian and Pacific plates. Let's check your work. Number 1. There is divergent movement between Eurasian and North American plates. To have this plate movement, the materials in the mantle must move in these directions. Number 2. Nazca plate and South American plate are moving convergingly. The materials in the mantle must move in these directions. And number 3, Australian plate and Pacific plates are moving convergingly. The materials in the mantle must move in these directions. Nice work! You have learned that tectonic activities such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions can't be stopped. But how does your family prepare for any of these tectonic activities? Family Emergency Bag Plate tectonic activities may be dangerous for us such as volcanic eruptions, tsunami, or earthquakes. Preparing a family emergency bag may be the key to be prepared on any of these tectonic activities. Let's have a simple activity on family emergency bag. Get a piece of paper and a pen. Classify if the following objects are essential or non-essential for your family during an earthquake. Let's start! Classify the following objects as essential or non-essential during any calamities, such as earthquakes, by placing essential items inside the family emergency bag. Write your answer in your paper. Label them essential or non-essential. The essentials are face mask, medicine kit, cell phone, flashlight, Swiss knife or pocket knife, t-shirt, whistle, canned foods, biscuits, alcohol, bottled water, and toiletries. Great job! How about you guys? What are the things inside your family emergency bag? Are these essentials or non-essentials? We don't want our go-bag to be that heavy. To summarize what you have learned, the theory of plate tectonic states that the Earth's solid outer crust, the lithosphere, is separated into plates that move over the asthenosphere, the molten upper portion of the mantle. Mantle Convection Hat mantle materials from the two convection cells rises at the ridge, creating new ocean crust. The top part of the convection cell moves horizontally away from the ridge, causing the plate to diverge. The outer part of the convection cells dive down into the deeper mantle, dragging oceanic crust as well in the form of subduction. This takes place at the deep sea trenches. The material sinks to the lower part of the mantle and moves horizontally. The material heats up and reaches the zone where it rises again and the cycles continues. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mam Marian Soriano. See you in our next lesson.